Yo, what's up? So today I'm going to install a Mi custom firmware installation. Okay, this is a pad band. It's not a OpenWRT because I'm uh, I search all over it and I can't figure it out. But uh, after I get it, it's easy. So I'll show you how. Okay, I'll explain it. Now you need to make the firmware. You cannot download it. You have to generate it for yourself. So there is a file. You can do this in uh, Ubuntu or any Linux with the 386x86 processor. I tested it on the Raspberry Pi. It's not working. So okay. I will just uh, send the link downstairs. So you need a virtual, and then they also have a. Uh, if you want, they have some Linux. Uh, it's already equipped with the um, Prometheus. So after you run it, for those uh, who is uh, confused with it, okay. After you run it and then you run the Prometheus just collect press 1 then show me and then your, your no? in this case it is number 3 me 3 so you will have here and then you have to press the 3 build tool chain okay may take a while but after it is working it will work and then you have to build the firmware after that if no error were found okay you can also apply skin if you like and then the router you need this firmware only okay this is a developer build you can download it here I'll show you it's very straightforward all you have to do is just uh, flash it to your me router okay after that you have to connect you don't have to just uh, DHCP it here you have to connect it here okay and then you have to connect your LAN to the PC okay or Wi-Fi maybe it will work also Remember, this is the uh, you are still in virtual box, and then you have to hack there SSH hack. You have to hack your firmware because there is also the one with the exploit with the SSH uh, bomb bus, but it's very hard to do. This one is much easier if you hack it, they will there. You can hack it if successful if you're not successful with the hack you can uh, use the old method the one with the you have to copy paste the the code so there you go after that you will there you will flash it already you don't have to back it up and then this is wrong because it's supposed to be just three here but uh, this is our 3 g this is different and then after that you can access it this is the default password let me access mine okay so here it is this is the padaban routers so after you get here you can install uh, whatever you like you can open wrt xwrt because you can enable SSH here so it's much easier than doing it's so confusing the one uh, they talk in the OpenWRT forum but this one is uh, good after this you can access SSH and then you can flash uh, any firmware you want but uh, I'll test this Padaban first this is the The first time I'm using a Padaban, so I'm going to explore this. 
But uh, if you want the easy way to install your Mi 3 router custom firmware, so this is the way I think. Okay, uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Okay.